Hello and welcome to the first video tutorial by Vijay Spagomat. This is a start of a series about various plugins I release or other techniques uh, used for Resolume. This time we talk about the just released Godrays plugin, which simulates a light scattering effect used in modern video games and this is a basic scene I have set up with another plugin which is going to be released at some point in the future which features some nice delay effects for some Tori but this serves just as a background for the now following God Ray effect you find the Godray effect after installing it in the plugin directory of Resolume in the Effects tab and you can save the presets for it and you can use our RS Clip plugin. The layer plugin to have it side by side with the parameters here and when we drag it to the, to the layer we see this as the starting configuration and you have the bias value. The bias is a color brightness um, input filtering. If you have an input source without an alpha channel, but it is recommended to use the use alpha, which renders the bias well, uh, input property useless, but it provides you with a clear alpha channel from the input value. The then following two light positions are 0, 0 for the left bottom corner, the right bottom, the top right and the left right are vice versa. The actual parameters for the plug-in are defined by a decay, a weight, exposure and density values. The decay is controlling the general decay of the incoming light source. As you can see here, small values lead to diminishing of the light source. It needs to be rather high and if it is high you need to decrease the weight value. As you can see here, a fine tuning of these two properties can lead to the well-known Godray typical effect. The exposure is controlling the general output level. Zero is no or zero output and one is full output and everything in between is a blending of that. This has no effect of the um, render time used for the plug-in so making exposure zero still needs uh, GPU cycles. And the density then controls the overall density of the light because the Godray effect is based on uh, dirt particles in the, in the air and how light is scattering among them. And then we are ready to go. We can set the light radius to an external light source uh, audio input. And as you can see here, my beautiful voice is controlling the effect of the Godray plugin. And just for the fun of it, we put another external input source to the Taurus effect I made. And as you can see here, although it's a bit of flickering right now, but just that's just because of the high velocity of the incoming video source. Yes, and that's it for the Resolume Godray plugin. Let me see what you produce with it. Let me know when you use it. Write your comments below. Subscribe to my channel. And all that stuff. See you next time.